Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a super simple task management system in Tana in just five minutes. So let's dive right in. All right, so here we are inside Tana and what we obviously need are super tags for projects and for tasks. There's different ways to create super tags, but especially if you're designing a full system from scratch, this is the way I would suggest you do it. First, you just write into nodes as normal. So we are going to do here project and task, and then you select both nodes and you type command K and then convert them to super tags. And because you want them in a central location where it's easy to modify the system as a whole later on, what I suggest you do is you bring them into that location. So you type command K and bring reference node here. And that means you see here the outline around the node bullet point is not dotted anymore. That means these two super tags live in that location where they are right now. Now, every task obviously belongs to a project. So how do we set this up? We're going to set this up by using fields. So if I type the larger than sign, which is shift period on my US keyboard layout, um, I get a new field. So I'm going to call this field the project field. Project and to distinguish it, um, we're going to call this for simple task management. Now I have a project field here and I configure this field. I do that by clicking on that bullet point and making it an instance field of the project super tag. And this is the one that I have just added. And what I also want to do is auto initialize it to an ancestor with this super tag. So that means if I indent a task somewhere under the project, it automatically gets associated with that project. And what we also want is field as semantic function. And the semantic function is part of to activate that if you don't have it, what you need to do is go up here, and then go to Tana labs and semantic functions for fields. That's important so that this field has semantic function um, option. Now every task has also a status. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another field here, we're going to make this a task status field, right? create task status. And this is going to be an options field. And the predetermined options are going to be backlog doing and done. And, and what we also want to do is show this task as a checkbox. And we want to do done state mapping here. So that means we can map the checkbox state to a field value. So if it's checked, we want this to be task status done. And unchecked should be task status and backlog and task status doing. That means that as long as the task is unchecked, it can have one of these two states. And as soon as you check it, it will be jumping to the done state. Let me show you that really quickly. Record video. We're going to make this a task. And you see here project is not filled out yet. And task status, um, I can select here backlog. And if I check this, it automatically jumps to done. Let's also quickly fix the default value here, we want this to be a default backlog value in the task status. Next, what we want to define a little bit more is the project. So the project um, obviously has also its own status. So project status gets its own field also has options. And here we're adding the dropped option for the project status. What I also want is a search where I'm looking for all the tasks belonging to this project. So this is what I'm doing here. Let's rename that tasks. And you'll see if I create a new project. And I associate that task with it, this task will show up. 
right? So that's really convenient and easy. And that's basically all there is to a very simple task management in Tana. As you can see, super easy to set up, um, works in literally less than five minutes. And I hope this is useful to you. Stay tuned for more videos on how to use Tana. Also check out my course, Mastering Tana Core, link down below if you want to go really deep into how to build super tag systems in Tana and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.